Hello everyone. Well, while we're waiting for the arrival of the cordless Henry Quick, which seems to have been delayed until September now, I thought I'd show you my latest Henry, the Henry family. Now, this particular cleaner I saw on a home shopping channel while I was on holiday in my caravan, flicking through the TV channels, Ideal World was selling this. And it's the first time I've seen a pneumatic cleaner on a TV home shopping channel. And they were selling it as an exclusive bundle. But as far as I know, this Henry family used to be exclusive to Tesco, but they discontinued it. And some people were claiming you could get this for 42 pounds something. But obviously, if you got one for that price, you got a bargain. I paid £200 for this, which is quite a lot. If you want it now, at the time of making the video, Ideal World have put it up to 250 And I don't recommend it at £250. You can just buy a standard Henry and all the accessories for less than that. But anyway, I've bought it for 200 and it'll join all my other Henry vacuum cleaners in the collection. Okay. Without any further ado, let's open up the box and see all the accessories we get with the new, well, new to me, Henry family. To mark the fact that Pneumatic International have been manufacturing in the UK since 1969, I've got my Union Jack socks on. In fact, I was manufactured in 1969 as well, so I, I share a lot in common with Pneumatic. Right, this has been taped up and not very well either. So let's have a look. Hopefully this is unused, it should be. Ah, oh, I've got an invoice in there, I'll put that to one side. There we go. Right, now, this is extra. They didn't really make a fuss of this, but this was actually shown on the ideal world didn't it show it but it was actually featured in the bundle and they said it was an exclusive bundle and i suppose having this extra book makes it exclusive this is the henry and hetty's space adventure it's book two in the series now while i'm on the books i'll show you the latest book here it is this is the very latest book and this is book 10 this is henry and hetty's magical summer adventure and this is great for all young Henry fans. Parents, if you're watching, I'll put a link below this video where you can buy this book and many other Henry books and jigsaw puzzles. I'm not affiliated with the company that sells these, but they're only three pounds each plus postage. And incidentally, if you're watching this outside the UK, they do ship certainly to the USA. It was confirmed by one of my followers on Facebook that uh, if you contact the company and if you want to buy all of them indeed it's probably cheaper just to buy the whole set of books and jigsaw puzzles they will give you a quote how much it's going to cost to ship to the USA so you can buy these in the USA so that's just one of them excellent little story books for your Henry and Hetty fans so that actually came included with the Henry family okie dokie so we have an instruction book and it's a full colour one. Very simple instructions, mainly pictures. There is text at the back, of course, as well. So there we have it. Inside here, this will be the small cleaning tools. Rip open the bag. So we've got crevice tool for your nooks and crannies the adapter piece so you can connect any of the tools directly to the hose end. This is your dusting brush for your shelving, your Venetian blinds, etc. This is your upholstery nozzle and this is the slide on nylon brush that just slides on like that. And that gives you a bit of extra agitation. Ideal if you're cleaning out the car, you can do your car mats if you've got dried on mud give it a good rub using the nylon brush and then you can slide that off and pick up all the dirt using the small nozzle. So this is Henry family and it comes with a lot of accessories. 
This is the AeroBrush 140, so it's a smaller sized AeroBrush, ideal for your upholstery, car interiors, pet bedding, stair carpeting. So this has a revolving brush that works on the airflow from the vacuum. You can clean it out if it gets clogged up. There's a little button here and you can open it up and you can just about see inside there a little fan, fan blades and you've got easier access if it gets clogged up with pet hair and fluff. So that's your AeroBrush 140. This is a standard carpet and floor nozzle and it is of the newer design. It has grown on me a bit, this design. But this seems to be the head supplied now with most pneumatic cleaners. So this is for your carpets and hard floors, plastic base plate, litter pickers for your pet hair. It's got a foot operated pedal, brushes up for carpets, brushes down for hard floor. So you have a brush at the front and a squeegee at the back, two wheels at the back, and there's also the parking bracket so you can park the nozzle at the back of Henry. And the final nozzle is the large aero brush. Again, I need to cut open the packaging. So this is your full-sized aero brush for carpets. Again, it's got a rotating brush that works on the airflow of the vacuum cleaner. You can see that little flap opens up in case it gets clogged up. Don't pick up, up any hard or sharp objects using the turbo brushes because you could damage the plastic fan. So be careful when you're cleaning with a turbo brush. You've got two little wheels at the front, two larger wheels at the back. You've also got the parking bracket so you can slot it into the back of Henry. So that's your full sized brush. We also get an extension hose and with the extension hose we get another adapter piece so this hose actually fits on to the main hose enabling you to clean up the stairs and I'll try out in this video if it does reach to the top of my stairs the standard flight stairs is about 13 steps in a UK home so basically you'd put the adapter on one end and then the end of the hose goes onto there I'll show you because here is the hose so that's how they connect together. And we've got the tapered hose. So it's wider at the cleaner end than it is at the handle end. Two metal wands. And, oh, I thought it was missing for a minute. It's just fallen down. That's your curved handle. You can use it either way. That also incorporates a suction relief valve, so you can open that up to reduce suction at the end. We get one spare HEPA flow bag. There'll be one fitted. And last, but by certainly no means least, we have Henry Family himself. Well, here he is, Henry family, and Henry is the larger capacity. This is a 9 litre capacity because this is the full-sized Henry, a 200 version. If you go for a compact Henry, that has a 6 litre capacity. But they both use the same dust bag, it's just that the 6 litre capacity, being a smaller bin, the bag doesn't expand and fill as much as it does in the larger capacity, 9 litre. So Henry family is designed for big families, larger homes. It's got the large capacity. It's got all the tools I showed you. It's got the standard filtration. So if you want something with a little bit better filtration, if you have asthma or allergies, then I suggest you look at the Henry Allergy Cleaner, or there is one called the Henry, I think it's Clean Air. I'm showing you it on my channel, I'm sure. Henry Clean Air, that has the same features as the Henry Allergy, but I believe it comes with extra tools and it's a bit less money, but it has the same filter. I think it's an H13 HEPA filter. But this is standard filtration, but it is still pretty good for most people. So he's a big machine. 
well, big compared to the compact. I must say I do prefer the compact version. Just a little bit lighter, a little bit easier to handle if you've got a smaller home or you just want something lighter, then go for a compact one. And you can always buy a standard compact and add any of the extra tools I've shown you that come with this. You can buy them all separately if you want to. Best place to go is myhenry.com and you'll see all the tool kits and accessories available, spare bags, filters, etc. So I've shown you so many Henrys during my time on YouTube. I bet you're sick of them, but they're popular. I like them because they're robust and above all, they're made in the UK and there's not very many things available at the moment you can buy in the UK. Certainly not vacuum cleaners. Henry is a big company that make not only the Henry, of course, Pneumatic also make industrial machines for cleaning shops, offices and factories. So they have a good pedigree when it comes to making reliable, robust cleaners. So we've got Henry's face, obviously, that's what makes Henry iconic, his smiling face. Round the back, this is the slot where we can park either the aero brush or the carpet and floor nozzle. Obviously, you'd normally have the tube attached to that. If I can find one of the tubes, I'll pop it in like so. And you can store the small tools on the back. You can piggyback them, so I'll show you all the tools stored on the back of the machine. Just missing the crevice tool, there it is. So we can slide the brush on the upholstery nozzle and we can pop the crevice tool on and then we can put the dusting brush on top of that. And then we've got the adapter piece. You can just slot that into the upholstery nozzle and that fits on the back there. So you can see we can fit all the small tools on the back apart from, of course, the small aero brush, but I wonder if it would fit. Yes, you can put the small aero brush on the back, but obviously you'll have to sacrifice another tool. So if you use the small aero brush more than you'd use the dusting tool, for example, you could pop that on the back if you want to. But I think most people will just have the tools like that. There's a built-in carry handle that simply lifts up, enabling you to carry Henry around the home, up the stairs or out to your car. Henry is an excellent car cleaner and Henry family will be even better because of course we've got the extension hose which enables Henry to reach round a car without having to keep moving Henry. To access Henry's nine litre bag, got two clips either side, pull them out and remove his hat. And there you go, pretty standard Henry motor. This is a 620 watt motor fitted to the Henry family. And under the motor, we've got the standard filter. You can get odor reducing filters if you buy a pet version, or there's a Henry Micro that also comes with a high filtration pre-motor filter like this, but with extra layers. So again, if you've got standard Henry and you want to upgrade, you can buy the odor reducing filter to fit your standard Henry. Just make sure you get the right size filter. This is a 200 size filter, but of course they do the 160 size filter as well. And here we have the bag fitted, very large, easy to empty, well, easy to replace. You don't empty the bags. You slide or close off that little cap there when you take the bag out, dispose of the dirt, and it will take quite a long time for you to fill up one of these bags. And there you go, that's just the bin. So much cleaner way of emptying than using a bagless machine. Bag just fits on back onto this support tube here. Wording has to be uppermost, and then you just push the red bag collar on until it's firmly in place, and then pop, pop the filter back on like so. And a little tip, if you, if you like a nice odor emitting from your vacuum cleaner, you can slot in, I normally put it this side of the filter, you can slot in an air freshener you don't want anything that's too small that'll be sucked into the motor. Don't put those granules in. They're designed to go inside the dust bag. But you can, of course, put, if you want, an air freshener just at the top of the bag there. But the air fresheners I use, they just tend to slot under this grill here and make a pleasant smell when Henry's vacuuming. So 
we'll pop his head on, making sure he's lined up correctly. And on the back here, we've got uh, a simple on off switch, just a single speed on off. And here we have a mains on indicator light. So when I plug in Henry, that light glows red and remains on until you unplug Henry from the wall socket. For any of you interested, we'll just have a quick look at the rating sticker here. This cleaner is 220 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 620 watts. The serial number is 2201006846804. That means that this, I believe the 01 is the month or is it the week? I can't remember, but it was certainly made in 2022, early 2022. Pneumatic International Limited, it's model HVR200-11. Another benefit of Henry is his extra long 10 meter cable. So you can plug Henry in into one socket outlet and clean a large area before you have to plug him in somewhere else. Obviously people like cordless cleaners and I like them as well. They're fine for quick pickups during the week for an occasional whip around the house. But if you want a deep clean, then a mains powered cleaner is also a must in my opinion. They're far better for cleaning the car. You've got more power and of course you've got sustained power. You're not worrying about the battery running out halfway between your cleaning jobs. So having an extra long cable is very useful. So we'll pull it out. There you go. Let's plug Henry in. And as we can see, just about to see with the bright lights, the mains on light has illuminated. So Henry, it's your first time to speak on my channel. And hopefully sometime this year, I'm going to show you all my pneumatics out together, but it's quite, it's going to be quite a task to get them all out in one video. But I, I plan to do that before the end of the year, maybe in December as part of a Christmas special. I'll treat you to that. So Henry, do you want to speak? Speak for the first time. Mm, sounds a bit different. You sound a bit different, Henry. Now Henry measures on my suction gauge, which I've mislaid at the moment. Henry measures about 80 on the suction gauge, which is good for a 620 watt vacuum cleaner. 80, I find is about average. Uh, some vacuum cleaners go less. I have a few that are more, but in general, 80 is a respectable score for sealed suction. Right, let's plug your nose in, Henry, because you can't smell anything without your nose, can you? So the nose just screws on. Nice tight fit. There we go, Henry is complete. And with his extra extension hose, we've got a lot of reach here. So as I said, ideal for the car. When you're cleaning the car, just put the tools directly onto the end of the hose like this, using the adapter. Absolutely ideal with this extra long attachment. Caravan as well, ideal for that. And of course you can put the Aero Brush 140 directly onto the end, so you can actually angle it to get under your car seats and do your car carpet in your boot everywhere like that and if you want to i can't see why you'd need to in the car but you can attach the large turbo brush directly to the ends you could clean your stairs with this if you don't want to use a small nozzle you might want to just use this for your bedding and upholstery and don't use it on a carpet ideal for your mattress actually that if you want to just reserve that for above the floor and you don't want it on carpet that can be a bit dirty, then look, you can do your stairs using the big nozzle, the big aero brush as well, directly onto the end of the hose with the, with the stair cleaning hose attached. So all very versatile, lots of tools. This is not the whole range of tools you can buy for Henry. There are other tools. You can get a flexible crevice tool. You can get an angled dusting brush. Uh, there are other tools, I can't recall, there's floor brushes, lots of tools. And because Henry is a standard 32 millimeter fitting, it means you can fit an awful lot of different tools to a Henry, not just pneumatic tools. Although 
I would recommend using pneumatic tools, but you might have a favorite tool from an older cleaner. As long as it's got a push fit 32 millimeter fitting, then it should fit onto Henry. Let's get Henry's curved, whoops, curved doo doo, doobre thing. What's, what's that called? A handle, that's it. Curved handle. I always prefer it in this position, but you can have it if you want to in that position, but that's better for cleaning up high. If you want to attach your extension ones and get your cobwebs, put your dusting brush on the end, gives you a little bit of extra reach. But for carpet and floor cleaning, I find that position is the most comfortable. And then we can pop on the ones, push and twist. Some people in reviews complain about, they either complain the ones stick or they complain the ones fall apart. They shouldn't come apart, just make sure you push them all the way in and give them a twist. They can stick together, I have to say, because there's no sort of catch or push button release. If you're using the machine a lot with the, with the ones attached, it might be difficult after a while to separate them. You just need a big burly man opposite you. You grab one end, a burly man or a burly lady grabs the other end and you twist. I see that I've put that on too firmly myself, actually. <laughs> oh, there we go. They do like to fuse together, I have to say. That is a disadvantage. They do separate. You could always throw a bucket of water over them if they get too, too attached. Right. Now, I know that this particular carpet, if you've watched my channel for a while, this is a Saxony type carpet. I struggle using many, many vacuums on this. They just stick to the carpet and they're very hard to push. So normally using the straight suction nozzle, I have to use Henry in its reduced suction. Sorry, in his, sorry, I always make that mistake. I have to use Henry in his reduced suction mode using this. So I have to turn this to the minus position. Yeah, that's plus. So that's open for minus. So it's, it's less power, but obviously, Using the aero brush is a bit easier. But in my experience, Henry does work better on shorter pile carpets. So if you've got plush pile carpeting like this, uh, you may want to consider an upright cleaner, to be honest. In fact, a lot of cordless machines with revolving brushes also fail on this particular carpet. But for short pile carpeting and for all around the home versatility, the Henry is hard to beat and you can pick up Henry when Henry's on offer for about £100. That's just for a standard compact Henry with just a standard toolkit. A standard toolkit for a Henry comprises of this carpet and floor nozzle, a standard hose, the two wands, the curved handle, plus the small accessories I've shown you, dusting brush and the crevice tool, and the upholstery nozzle with the detachable brush and of course a little adapter. You don't get any of the turbo nozzles, but you can buy a small Henry, as I said, when they're on offer, which is often, uh, Pneumatic International or MyHenry.com offer them on, on a regular basis. You could get sometimes Hetty, you can, you can get for about hundred pounds. Standard Hetty or Henry, often you can find on sale for hundred pounds, absolute bargain. If you want to increase the versatility, Henry also do a pro kit, which consists of an aero brush, the full size one, the smaller one, and also a dedicated hard floor brush. So as I said, whatever Henry you get, you can always upgrade them with better filtration and more cleaning tools. Okay, I've done enough talking, Henry. Let's give you something to eat.
Well, there you go. That's just about the end of today's video on the Henry family. Another Henry to add to my ever-growing pneumatic family. Don't forget to check out my playlist on the channel where you'll find many different videos on other Henry cleaners and other cleaners from Pneumatic International, including wet and dry machines, machines that will shampoo carpets, and machines designed for commercial use. And don't forget, stay tuned because as soon as it's launched, I'll be bringing you the brand new Henry Quick Cordless Cleaner. If you have any comments or questions about the Henry family, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.